Nowadays, it seems like everyone shies away from any form of competition. It's almost negative. It's seen as like a bad thing if you look forward to or even invite that competitive energy. Like any any form of competition, people look down upon it, and it's that's not good. Like that's really, really not good. Obviously, I don't think like aggression as a consistent frame is a good thing. Like I don't think you should go around and just actively be aggressive and like angry towards people, especially if it's like. It's just random, but I do think being able to tap into that kind of energy and that kind of frame is really, really valuable, especially if you're a guy, especially if you're a guy. It's very, very, um, that the, the drive that you get from competi competitiveness, the drive that you get from competition can be very, very powerful for you dry, striving and like achieving your goals. This video is going to be directed a bit more towards guys. Like I think most of my videos are, but this one in particular is going to be more directed towards men. And like, if you're my age around my age, I'm 24. So if you're maybe like up to 30 years old or anything under that, we've kind of grown up in a world where most of the leaders, most of the people we've looked to for guidance have been women. Like it's very feminine, like, it's interesting, like you've, you've grown up around women teachers and your mom and like women guidance counselors. So a lot, of the, a lot of the things that we've learned have been taught to us in a feminine way. It's honestly through like no fault of their own. Like they, it's, I'm not saying it's like a negative thing, it's not bad, but because we were, we've been raised in such a way where we're very like timid and non-confrontational, like, Timid and non-confrontational energy is seen as like a good thing, and anything where there's competition or aggression is seen as a bad thing. You, you really grow up with like a skewed view on competition and and just that type of energy. Now, while there's definitely like there's definitely a place for the kind of energy that we've grown up around, how we've been taught to kind of pull away from any kind of confrontation. I also think there's a place for that kind of like powerful frame where like you don't let people walk all over you you don't let things just kind of happen if you're not okay with them you know what i mean and i think competition a healthy form of competition a a a form of competition where you're kind of it, the other person doesn't even really need to know that you're in competition but like i'll get into that in a second here i just think being able to tap into that can be really really valuable especially like i said as a guy i want you to think back to like primitive times, like hunter-gatherer era, like the guys in that time had to be competitive, whether it was for women, for status, for for their well-being, their survival, like they had to be competitive and they had to be, like I hate to use it, but like alpha, they had to be alpha. I think the word alpha is so lame and it's been, it's been, uh, th there's such a negative connotation on it now, but I think you know what I mean in this particular context. The, the guys in that time had to be the best of the pack in order to live the best life and, and have that, like it was for their well-being, it's for survival. So with that competition comes like obviously a rise in testosterone, but also this particular energy and drive that only comes when there's some form of competition involved. And like I said, I think being able to tap into that when you need it can be so beneficial, again, particularly if you're a man. Being comfortable with that kind of energy is honestly a skill in and of itself. And I know for a lot of guys, they're just not comfortable with that type of energy. Like I know for me, I, I don't know if you'll relate to this, I think you probably will, but when I was growing up, I was never, like if there was any form of confrontation, I would do pretty much anything I could to shy away from it, to hide from it, to get away from it, or to calm the situation. I was always the type of guy who was just like really relaxed, really reserved, always very calm, very chill. Like, and I'm still that kind of person. Like I said at the beginning, I don't think being an aggressive, angry, like person all the time is a good idea. Like I, I do think being able to be in control of that is important, but that's the exact thing. Like you have to be able to be in control of it. I was always shying away from it. And recently I've started to be able to like feed off that competitive energy when I want to. And that's a very key distinction. When I want to be able to get into that mode and into that frame, I can now. And it helps in a lot of areas. It helps in so many areas of life. So what's a healthy way where you can kind of tap into that kind of energy? What's a healthy form of practice almost where you can kind of get comfortable with that kind of energy without it seeping into all areas of your life? Because like I said, I don't think it's valuable for every area of your life. But when you need it, and when you want to tap into it, it can be super, super helpful. 
So what are the healthiest ways to do that? And I think, like I said, competition, but it's almost like a, like a mindful competition, like a, an internal competition. You know what I mean? I'll, let me explain here. This is going to sound like really, really weird, but bear with me here. You can find someone who you don't even know, honestly. You, you don't even know. You can find someone who is in a position that you want to be in, whether that's in business, relationships, fitness, whatever. It, that's kind of up to you, but you can find someone that you don't even know and you can use them as a form of competition. Like for me, I don't even have to mention like the names of the people because it's just famous people on social media. But I can look at these guys and be like, I'm going to work harder than this person today. I'm going to work out harder. I'm going to work more intently. I'm going to do more. I'm going to be better than this person today. And it's like, it's a weird form of of competition that's only internal. Like if I ever met these people in real life, I probably won't, but if I ever met these people in real life, it would not be like a in a like a like a competition between us. Like I would I would be thankful to meet them and be dope probably, but in the frame that I'm viewing it at, it's it's a form of competition where it pushes me to be better and I push myself to become a better person because I have this mindset of competition. Having that having that competitive mindset is really really good for keeping myself from feeling complacent and keeping myself from feeling content with where I'm at and constantly keeping me pushing towards something better. Constantly keeping myself improving. I think because competition has been so like put down and chastised throughout society in general, it's seen as like such a negative thing. But I want to use this video as a reminder to you, especially if you're a man, competition is healthy like competition is a good thing especially if it's just a healthy like friendly competition it doesn't have to even be like a real competition you can use that type of energy and that type of mindset to your benefit just being comfortable with it and being able to get into that mindset and get into that frame is super super valuable for achieving whatever you're setting out to do regardless of what the situation is and regardless of if you win or lose the actual important thing is the energy and the mindset that comes from competition, not the competition itself. So, like, if you lose a competition, that just makes you want to be better. It pushes you and makes you strive to win. And if you win a competition, that feeling, you obviously feel good, and then that feeling makes you push and motivate and, like, strive to be at the top and continue to be at the top. So, so that kind of, just the mindset and the energy that comes from it is really, really valuable. It's an energy that's been so suppressed throughout our lives, but I think as men, it's honestly something that we crave and it has to be something that you go out and continuously try and find ways to make yourself competitive, even if it's just in your own head, even if it's just a mental exercise that you do. It's that whole thing with like participation ribbons and being rewarded for coming in last. That whole culture that you'll find in like schools and different sporting events even it's it's that type of energy that keeps pushing competition further and further away and making it seem so negative but it's it's really really not being wanting to be number one at something is one of the most powerful things for especially like i said especially for guys it's one of the most powerful things that keeps you striving to be better that kind of drive is really good and really healthy and it doesn't have to be something that you shy away from i think it's something that you should invite into your life and it's 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 a it's a fine line because a lot of guys when they get into this and i know i've in the past probably i'd say when i was like 18ish what i i kind of started like i almost overcompensated and people started calling me an asshole and stuff and i was like how but <laughs> but it, it comes down to this point where like you can find a very healthy medium and i think that healthy medium is very very valuable so do your best to not overcompensate you don't want it to seep into every area of your life but you do want to have this mindset of of growth and and this mindset of striving to be the best and competition is one of the best types of like one of the best ways to get yourself in that mindset and get yourself in that mind frame. I really hope this video motivated you in some way, changed your perspective, helped you in some way. I really appreciate you watching the video. If you did like what the video was about, you like how I spoke and you like what I spoke about, definitely scroll down right now, hit the subscribe button, notification bell, you know the drill with that, like the video, all that YouTuber stuff. If you have any questions or you want clarification on something that I might have said, definitely leave a comment, I'll definitely get back to you. And yeah, again, I really hope I helped you in some way, motivated you, something like that, changed your perspective. Again, appreciate you watching the video. I'm very grateful.
Catch you on the next video, hopefully. Take care.